you are doing again i think this is your fourth year fourth year uh, for your um it's a tribute to september 11th and all the heroes we lost that's explain right. the program and what you're doing at the ymca i mean that's exactly what it is there were 2977 people lost during that time and so we started this and we put stairmasters right in the lobby and you can come in and climb those stairmasters as much or as little as you want to to simulate 110 floors 2070 uh, step 71 steps mm. to commemorate the firefighters running up as everybody else is running away to go and try and save people and then the whole thing collapsed so this is to always remind people of that tragedy and, and of the people that were coming after us that caused that tragedy. Now, there's so. a bit more to it than that, and Aaron was talking about that, that if anybody is gutsy and or aerobically um, um, capable enough, they can actually wear the equipment? Explain that. Well, you can put on the, the jacket, the pants, and there's an air tank and a mask and a helmet, you know, to simulate the firefighters. How many pounds People, of stuff is that? Oh, I, I, I bet it's 100 pounds. I, I don't know how many it yeah. is. I mean, those things are heavy, thick, obviously, to keep you from burning up, right, when you're going into a building. Mm -hmm. And so those guys just come in and ran straight up those, those stairs when everybody else is running away. To, again, try. so we want to commemorate that. We have a lot of firefighters come in, got a lot of service guys come in, and just people. You don't have to be a member of the Y to come by there. There's no charge. Oh, let's get started. Whose idea was it? What uh, What was the the genesis of of this? It What's was now uh, an there were some deal? there was a couple of firefighters that were members that that mentioned it, and our staff decided let's honor them. How do we honor them? And they, hey, we've got these stairmasters. Let's simulate running up the steps, you know, to honor mm. these guys. How yeah. long does it take if if because I know you've had people that are in awesome physical condition do the hundred the, the hundred yeah. plus floors? Yeah. How long does that take? You know, if they're in pretty good shape, they can do it about twenty minutes. That, uh, that's what my son did. He said he did it in twenty if minutes. If you're in pretty good shape, you can yes. run uphill, which is a hundred flight, hundred and ten actually flights 100, of stairs. Hundred ten flights. Oh my God! And you know, th there's some motivation to that, and people kind of get going, get the adrenaline flowing, and. If you're me, about an hour and ten minutes, you know. But, <laughs> if you're me, about 110 days. Yeah. But but it's incredible how many people complete the 110 flights. I'm, I'm just amazed. And that's not an easy thing, you know, walking up steps like that. So mm. this is when? Give us hours. Give us any more details that we're it's forgetting to ask. It's going to be on 9-11 beginning in, you know, we open Saturday. at 5 Yes. So we open at 5.30 and people can come in and get after it. You know, there'll be eight Stairmasters in the lobby. What did you have last year, by the way? Oh, gosh, I mean, it, from when we opened to close, it was constant the whole time on those Stairmasters. So. Now, you are asking folks to reserve a Stairmaster if they yes. want a specific time. Yeah, How do they do that? They can call in the front desk and, and ask the time. They've got a chart there, you know, a time chart, and, and sign up for that to know when they can come in and, and participate. And for folks who who maybe don't want to do it or maybe they just want to run a uh, one flight, you're hoping folks will donate 10 bucks sure. just to go to, sure. the, to, to the EMS? And, and that all goes to the first responders. And that people don't have to wear all the firefighter gear either. They can just come in their workout clothes or office clothes or whatever they want to if, do and go from if, 1 to 110. If I wanted to just put on the gear yes, just to get a sense of how much weight, of how much those men and men to this day, first responders, firemen, are wearing. Could I just, for 10 bucks, could I just come by and put the stuff on to you, see what it you, feels like? You could come by and put it on for free, and if you decide to donate 10 bucks, that would be perfect. But I think that would give you even more Because I think respect. people have a yeah. sense of, no of, of what all that entails. And a mask over trying to breathe through that mask you know as far as the the mask going to their oxygen tank not the pandemic mask but no i get it yeah yeah, yeah. I, mm. I think people don't understand or appreciate just how heavy that stuff is and, and then running up those steps and this is just one small way to remember i mean one we small. cannot believe it's been 20 years that's true. It's just one small way. And, you know, even with the, the things that are going on today in the Middle East, we need to even more so remember that for the reason that that happened and the reason we went to the Middle East, because we, we all need to be vigilant 
you know, that great philosopher Mike Tyson always said, everybody's got a plan to get hit in the mouth, right? We just got mm-hmm. hit in the mouth again. Yes. And so we just need to be aware of helping first responders in every situation here in Shreveport. Or, so or let us review there. all the info once again coming up this Saturday. Shreveport YMCA right there on on Knight Street. Yeah. Let's start from the beginning. Real quick, 60 seconds or so. Tell me what you're doing. So we're, we've got eight stair masters in the lobby. People can come by and climb the equivalent of 110 flights, 2,071 Or as steps. much as they can or won't. Or as much as you can. You can wear the firefighter gear. You don't have to wear that. Uh, we take a $10 donation if you'd like. That goes uh, 100% goes to first responders as a commemorative and remembrance of the first responders helping the people that were in that tragedy. Mm. Oh, you said, uh, how does one, just to repeat, how does one, you said we suggest people reserve a Stairmaster or a yes. time. Can you go to the website? Yes. How do you do that? You can go uh, call the number 674-9635, and that's the front desk, and reserve a time so that you can come in and get it done, go back to work, or whatever that you're doing that day on Saturday. Okay, one more thing for you, and please don't take this lightly. It's going to sound like it's light, but it's not. Knock, knock. Who's there? 9-11. 9-11 who? I thought you said you'd never forget. That's it. Perfect. Where'd you mm. get that? Saw that somewhere on a, uh, one of the Netflix documentaries this weekend that was so powerful. When I heard that, I mean, when I tell you it's a joke, I think, think about it, man. We have forgotten. We were patriotic on September 12th. We loved our country. We all right. were together. We came together. We're now apart.